Hi everyone, it's Miss Brittany here. We are going to read another story. Um, this week, our story um, is about letters again. Now, um, we are going to read about letters and we are also gonna see how we can think about all the letters that are uh, at your house or in your life. So, this book is uh, a very interesting book because it is two books in one. So on this side, uh, we open it and it goes one way and it's about letters. But on the other side, if we read this way, it's about numbers. It's two books in one. That's crazy, right? So the, on the front of this book, we can see that there are some uh, letters and some numbers. Hmm. So I think this book is probably about both. It's called 26 Letters and 99 Cents by Tana Hoban. She's the author and the illustrator. But I don't think these are drawn pictures, do you? Hmm, let's see what we find inside. Remember, this is the front of the book, and this is the back of the book, and this is the spine. Ooh, look at all those letters. They make me want to touch them. They look kind of puffy, don't they? 26 Letters and 99 Cents by Tana Hoban. And it was published by Green Willow Books. Those are the people who put the book together for us. A, airplane. B, bicycle. I'm gonna trace the A. I'm gonna start at the very top, go down, back up to the top, down and across. Can you do that? Can you do it in the air? Start at the top and go down, Top, down, and across. Very good. Now I'll do the B, the uppercase B. Start at the top, go down, jump back up, do it a little curve, and another little curve. Very good. C, what's that? Car. D, dinosaur. E, egg, F, fish. Can you make a fishy face? I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> what letters are on this page? I see G and a glove. Do you see anything that starts with H? What do you think it is? How about a house? H house. I, oh, what's that one? Ice cream. J, jelly beans. K, kangaroo. L, lock. M, mushroom. N, nuts. So this page is about the letters M and N. What do the pictures show? Mushroom and nuts. They are both foods. Have you ever had mushrooms and nuts? A lot of times we cook mushrooms, but sometimes we don't. And nuts, these are in their shell. A lot of times we have to take them out of their shell. Or we just buy them at the store already out of their shell. O, orange. P, pig. Q, quilt. R, robot. What letters do you see on this page? Hmm. How about Seahorse. T. Turtle. U. Umbrella. V. Valentine. W. Wagon. X. Xylophone. Y. Yo-yo. Z. 
zipper. Hmm. Oh, remember how I said this was two books in one? So this part's upside down. We're only going to read the first part with all the letters. Now, did you notice that there are no words in this book? Let's look through. Hmm. Do you see any words? I see just letters and pictures. Wow. I wonder why the author, remember the author is Tana Hoban. I wonder why Tana Hoban didn't put any words in here. Hmm. Why do you think she didn't put any words in there? Maybe it was so we would just look at the pictures. Maybe it was so you could read this book on your own without a grown-up. I don't know. What do you think? Why do you think, or do you think it helps us um, to learn letters and see something that begins with that letter? Why do you think that would help? So like in this book, we saw lots of things. We saw F for fish. We saw E for egg. Do you think that helps you remember the letter? It might. What I want you to do is I want you to take a piece of paper and choose your letter that starts with your name. So my name starts with B, so I chose B. And then I want you to find things maybe in your house or just that you remember that also start with that letter. And I want you to draw it. So remember my letter's B. I picked a ball box, banana, boot, Miss Brittany's not a very good drawer, that's okay, and a brush. Can you think of any other words that start with B that you could see around your house? Hmm, these are all that I could think of, but maybe you could think of more. And then you can do this with your special letter that starts with your name. Make sure you have your grown-up send us a picture and to our Facebook page or to your teacher. Can't wait to see what you draw. We'll see you guys later.